Brexit fishing tensions could yet still erupt post-Brexit as one Frenchman warned of a never-ending war over access to waters. French fishermen were accused of decimating the Jersey coastline earlier this month as uncertainty looms over access to the Channel Islands waters. The Brexit trade deal gives Jersey the sole power over licenses for all boats, but French vessels with historical fishing activity in Jersey waters will continue to have access and could still outnumber Jersey boats. This arrangement replaced the Bay of Granville Treaty, an accord that was not popular with some in Jersey as it allowed French authorities to license their own boats to fish in the island's waters. At the end of this month, the amnesty ends, meaning any vessel not from Jersey must prove their historical operation within the island's waters and get a permanent license to continue fishing there. France 24 interviewed fishermen in February this year to ask about their future, and one made a worrying warning. Valentin Simon, a French fisherman, said, My great-grandfather was a fisherman, my father is a fisherman and my brother's a fisherman. For the younger generation it is going to be very difficult, but we won't let them push us around. We can't afford to or we won't be able to make a living. If they stop us from working in their waters, we will stop them from landing on our ports. So it will become a never-ending war, and since 70% of their fish is unloaded in France, they won't be able to earn a living either, in the end it's up to Brussels and the UK. Dot. They will have to work it out. Mark Delahaye of the Normandy Fishing Committee expressed anger at the new reality for French fishermen. He said, the French state used to have a fixed quota of fishing licenses that it could give to the Normans and Britons. Now Jersey is saying, no, it's me that is giving them out, but it is an extremely complicated process between London, Brussels and Paris. All that red tape is excruciating, and all French fishermen find it incomprehensible.